hello guys welcome back to my channel on today's video i'm going to do a get ready with me slash i'm trying on some new products um i did a instagram poll a while ago asking what you guys would like to see next here on youtube and most of you guys picked the get ready with me so here it is finally i know it's a little bit late but better late than never so if you guys are excited to see how i came up with this look and learn some tips and tricks that i know and that i've been doing for a while then keep on watching and if you're new here hi welcome my name is patricia make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you like this video also give it a thumbs up um any comments any questions any ideas are welcome so just drop them down below but let me stop talking and let's get started all right guys so to start off i am going to prime my face with the dr brand luminizer primer Pores no more. I usually don't use that much. But this much right here. And I put it, I apply it all over my face. So what I like to do is I like to concentrate right here in the center of my face. And then I like to go ahead and put the rest of the product around the whole face. This feels very velvety and I honestly feel like this just like moisturizes my face more, even more. So next what I'm going to use is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. What I like to do is I like to spray it on all over my face. Today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Super Stay foundation this is the one right here that's how it looks so I don't usually like to pump the foundation on my hands what I usually do is I pump the foundation on a little plate like this I got this one from my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills lip kit I just find it more sanitary and just better I don't know why but what I usually do is I would pump the foundation here. One and two. So I start off with two pumps and then I grab a flat foundation brush to apply it on my face. I don't apply it with my fingers uh, because of my skin situation. I, I'd rather use clean tools to apply it on my face. And either way, regardless, whenever you apply makeup, you should always wash your hands. So my hands are clean, but touching the bottles and the products and stuff, you know, you can transfer any germs or dirt on your face. And I'm trying to avoid that because I am not trying to get more pimples like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my beauty blender and I'm gonna go ahead and blend away. So another step that I like to do right after applying my foundation is I like to use a powder to set it and when I tell you this one right here is my ride or die. I've been using this since I started wearing makeup. Um, I just feel like it does the job. It is the matte and poreless fit me um, powder and this is the shade natural tan. What I like to do is I grab my fluffy brush from Wet n Wild and I go ahead and apply it all over my face. I just feel like this gives me a more matte finish. I am going to be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I've been loving this concealer. It's very creamy, it's very pigmented, and it does not crease on my eyes. I'm going to conceal under my eyes, you know, same old one thing that i do have to say about this concealer is that it oxidizes so go a uh, shade a little bit lighter than like usual i have really really dark circles a lot of dark circles and i also have like a damn blue vein on both sides that whenever i'm mad or tired they like just pop up so i look like really mad 
the next step is going to be setting obviously my lovely concealer and what i'm using right now is my wet and wild contouring palette uh guys i love wet and wild i love this product it, it looks beat up because i take it everywhere with me and this is my second one i'm gonna go ahead and use the light part to set my concealer under my eyes and wherever we concealed and i am using my i don't know how you call this brush but this is from real techniques this is great awesome and is very inexpensive because you already know we are here on a budget we're trying to look cute but in an inexpensive way that's my motto all the time i'm gonna use the the bronzy part of this pot of this little palette I'm going to be using the new wet and wild eyeshadow palette and this one is the not a basic peach right here this is the first time that I'm using it I should I should have opened it before this video because I am struggling right now Oh, why do they make it so hard to open these things? It's like, I understand you're trying for people to not swatch them in the stores, but damn, this is hard. Early, I'm gonna do this on my crease. I'm gonna apply it on my crease and work my way inward. Well, whatever you say, it. I'm just gonna, you see what I'm doing. I don't know the terminology or whatever these makeup gurus say just you know follow what i'm doing just troll your brush until you feel like you blended everything out i'm sorry guys i'm just not gonna pretend like i know all of these things like i'm just doing exactly what i do on my own like i'm not an expert i didn't go to school for makeup i just learned myself this is a pretty cute color. I like it. And it's blending great. I, I really like how this is blending out. So I'm going to be using this shimmery color on my eyelids. This is kind of like a coppery golden rosy color, like a rose gold type. It may not look like that in camera, but in person it does. I'm gonna swatch it a little. For you guys right mm, it's more on the orangey side but it's really really pretty right there yep mm, guys it applies great with the finger i tend to see that whenever it is a shimmery color it is best to apply with your fingers than with a brush i do know that applying it with a wet flat brush it works but it, i just feel like it doesn't give me the same intensity that i get when i do it with my finger with my fingertips so i am in love with this color it just looks so cute oh my god i really really like it the pigment is great. It's so soft, like it's like butter. It like melts in your finger. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the same transition color that I applied all over my lid under my eye. I'm not a fan of eyeliner either. Anything that has to do with my eyes. I Honestly, guys, with my eyes, I just don't, I'm not a fan. I just feel like it makes me look like a raccoon. Like right now, I feel like a raccoon. I don't know why. And if you want to know what kind of brush this is, I bought this brush in H&M. It's a small shading brush from H&M. It's like so perfect for under the eye, at least for me. Come on, zoom in. 
it's like super perfect and it's like so soft i i went through a, a phase in my life where my eyes were really 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 um sensitive to everything i couldn't wear um any eyeshadow or any eyeliner or mascara um i do have chronic dry eye so i feel like i've found a pretty good way of um avoiding the the dryness to intervene with me wearing makeup like i i feel like i'm in a good stage now where i'm comfortable wearing makeup and it's not bothering me which i'm very happy because honestly guys those were some really dark days like that was like the worst for me because my eyelashes fell fell out and everything it was just horrible but i'm glad i'm back and i can wear makeup again this is amazing i'm going to apply mascara mascara i'm gonna wear mascara now so um i like to curl my lashes first because my lashes grow straight down not down but like straight up so i like to curl them first and like i said guys i went through a really bad experience back in like in the past and i lost all my eyelashes but my eyelashes are like so long now <sighs> but let me not talk because then they're gonna fall out tomorrow going to use a mascara that i have not used yet i bought it it's from the May the new maybelline line it's this one right here the total temptation uh, i hope it doesn't clump up my eyelashes but we're gonna try it out together guys let's see and i don't like wearing eyelashes either i only do it for the gram you know do it for the gram but um yeah i don't i don't use eyelashes i it, they irritate my eyes the only eyelashes that i can use are like the ardell wispies anything that has a really thin um band i i like it um wow guys <laughs> hold up look at my lashes they're looking pretty long i really really like it and it's not it's not clumping my eyelashes which is pretty great so now that we're done with the eyes the next step is going to be the blush we're gonna put some blush on um i've been loving this one from ColourPop. what sucks is that i cannot see the name of the blush because they send it separately they send it like with the packaging and then the product in a little like cardboard thing or whatever i don't know how to explain it but this one is the glass slipper and what i love is that this has a magnet to close it come on close like that and then it has a mirror which is great and then you just pop it in it's a magnet but you pop it in and voila Next, I'm gonna go ahead and set my foundation, like my makeup. I'm gonna set it before I apply any highlighter. I like to do this because um, when you spray, when you set your face, everything just comes together and then it just makes the highlight more intense. I don't like to put the highlight and then set in my face because I feel like the setting spray would um, make my highlight disappear basically so i'm gonna go ahead and so while we wait for it to dry i'm gonna talk about the next product that i'm gonna use this is the um, maybelline master chrome um highlighter um the sh this is the shade molten gold this one right here come on this one right here i used it on my trip to to canada so i already know how this performs and i honestly love it it's not like a super intense highlighter but it gives you like a natural cute glow 
which I love because I, I'm not oh like I don't always want to be like all the time so this is this is really really uh, a really good option and um I mean it's Maybelline most of their products are very um, affordable and the quality is very good and like I said before I am trying to look cute but on a budget so I'm gonna I think this is already dry so what I'm going to use is this fluffy brush from Morphe this one doesn't have a name it came in a set of of brushes like a brush set so I go ahead and I'm gonna apply it right here and as you can see it's a very very subtle but yet cute highlight it's just like perfect it's like it gives you that natural looking glow it's not like super super intense like but it's like wow she's looking healthy type highlight that's what it is this is more of like a everyday highlight that i would wear to go to work if i decide to look cute to work which it's not the case all the time um i'd rather sleep all right so the last step is gonna be the lipstick and um we're gonna use the new color pop lipsticks it has like little stars is is super cute and it's rose gold which is even better i'm gonna be using the humble pie this is a really bright pink but like look at this guys look at the details it has like little stars around it i love it All right, guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and this look, of course. Um, if you would like to see more of myself, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, once again, um, thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see each other more often. And yeah, so thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.